A girl named Kat Connors entered the room and saw her mother lying on the bed. Eve looked disoriented and didn't even know what time it was. This is the story of Kat, whose mother disappeared when she was 17 years old. Eve lost interest in life and no longer lived, but existed. Kat knocked on the door of their blind neighbor, Mrs. Hillman, and asked if Phil was here. He was supposed to pick her up from school but never showed up. Mrs. Hillman said that Phil hadn't come home yet. It was the fall winter of 1988. Returning home, Kat was surprised to find her father here, even though he was supposed to be at work. Brock told his daughter that her mother had gone missing. Kat didn't take it seriously, thinking her mother had simply gone to the store. But Brock felt that something had happened. The wife's car was in the garage, and no one among their acquaintances had seen her either. Later, Kat called her boyfriend Phil. He had forgotten to pick her up from school because he was supposedly hanging out with his friend. She suggested meeting Phil tonight, but he said he had a lot of homework. Kat was disappointed. Walking into the kitchen, she saw her father sitting at the table, staring at one spot. There was still no word from Eve. Kat suggested calling the police, but her father decided to wait until morning. At night, Kat dreamt of wandering in a blizzard, searching for her mother. When Kat woke up, she felt something unsettling inside her. Kat remembered how many years ago the mother had tried to curl her hair, but without success. Eve named her daughter Kat because she had always wanted to have a cat. Eve also wanted her daughter to be slim, so she forbade her from eating too many sweets. As Kat became a teenager, she and her mother completely stopped understanding each other. Occasionally, Eve would get drunk and tell her daughter that she didn't love her father. Of course it was unpleasant for Kat to hear that. The next morning, the father and daughter finally went to the police station. They said Eve had gone missing, but all her things were still at home. According to Detective Sia Ziesch's, Eve left of her own free will. There was nothing indicating a crime had occurred. Sometimes women leave their families because they're tired. Brock put up missing person flyers about Eve. As the father and daughter sat in the car, Brock barely holding back tears, said that his wife had never loved him. Kat had nothing to say in response because it was true. Perhaps many years ago, things had been different. Eve and Brock used to be the ideal American couple. While the husband worked, Eve kept the house in perfect order all day long. But as soon as the cleaning was done, Eve felt emptiness. Due to a lack of hobbies and ambitions, she fell into depression. Every time Brock came home from work, he faced his wife's coldness and disdain. She didn't try to hide her contemptuous attitude towards him. Meanwhile, many women dreamed of a man like Brock. His colleagues constantly flirted with him, and Kat witnessed it once. At home, the atmosphere was very different. Eve despised her husband and constantly reminded him of his worthlessness. Yet from the outside they seemed like a perfect family. Eve took any request from her husband as an insult. Sometimes Kat felt that her mother was losing her mind and that something terrible would happen sooner or later. But in the end she simply disappeared. In the present, Kat shared this with the psychologist. Kat is here because the father thought it would help her cope with the mother's disappearance. Kat admitted that she doesn't miss her mother at all. However, she's bothered by recurring dreams of walking through a blizzard and seeing a silhouette. Kat has been having these dreams since her mother disappeared. Later Kat met Phil, who is growing up without a father. But his father, unlike Kat's mother, at least said he was leaving. Kat wants Phil to stay, but he had other plans. The guy allegedly does not want Kat's father to catch them. She's upset that the beloved doesn't spend much time with her. At night, Kat would hang out with friends, complaining that Phil lost interest in her. Their relationship used to be passionate, but now Phil has grown cold toward her. Phil and his mother became neighbors of the Connors family a year ago. Initially Kat despised Phil, thinking he was stupid and boring. But one summer night changed everything. At that time, Kat was at a club with her friends. Phil was there too. He approached her to say hello. She introduced him to her friends, Beth and Mickey. Phil tried to start a conversation, but Kat didn't seem interested. However, when he suggested dancing, she didn't refuse. The young people had fun, and soon it turned into passion. From then on, they started dating. With Phil, Kat felt like herself. One day Eve visited Mrs. Hillman, Phil's mother, to introduce herself. Eve looked friendly. Their conversation was interrupted by Phil, who had just come out of the shower and wasn't expecting guests. Eve couldn't take her eyes off him. In the present, Kat tells the psychologist that her mother was unhappy in her marriage. Perhaps she got married because that's what everyone else does. Kat also shared that shortly before the disappearance, her mother began dressing more provocatively. Kat is convinced her mother did it because she was simply bored. Maybe Eve wanted to have an affair. In the past, every time Eve and Phil accidentally crossed paths, the woman openly flirted with the guy, leaving him bewildered. When Eve suggested that Phil join them for dinner, he couldn't refuse. Kat left a voicemail message for the detective, saying she had information about her mother. However, Kat's real goal was quite different. She dressed provocatively, put on bright makeup and on her own initiative, 
went to the detective's house instead of the police station. This was her revenge against Phil. When Theo asked about new information regarding Eve's disappearance, Kat said her mother might have had an affair. The detective didn't rule out that possibility. He also immediately guessed that Kat didn't come here to talk about her mother. Theo was not against being alone with Kat. The next day, Kat told her friend Beth about it. Of course Beth was shocked. The girl hopes she'll be as lucky someday. At home, Kat listened to a voicemail from the police. They informed Brock that he successfully passed a lie detector test. When the father came home, Kat asked him to explain why he'd been forced to take a polygraph test. Brock replied that it's probably a standard procedure. Later, Kat remembers how the mother entered her room in the middle of the night and started behaving aggressively, accusing her of going out with guys and acting inappropriately. In the present, Kat tells the psychologist that this happened often. It seemed that the mother was jealous of her youth and beauty. Kat could shape her future as she wanted, unlike Eve, whose days were like each other. Kat recalls how once while doing homework with Phil, her mother came downstairs to them. She was drunk and provocatively dressed, offering to have some fun. Brock intervened, disliking his wife's behavior. Eve continued to shout about how tired she was of living like this. She's 42, and all she wants now is to reclaim her life. In front of her husband, daughter and Phil, Eve threw a tantrum. No one here listened or understood her. Eve felt like a ghost and simply disappeared. Spring of 1991 came. Kat entered college and told her roommate Cindy about her mother's disappearance. To this day, no one knows what happened to Eve. Kat is being courted by a guy named Oliver who doesn't like the fact that she smokes. Kat made it clear that she won't let anyone control her. Soon Kat went home to visit her father. Brock met her at the airport and hugged her. He really missed his daughter. As they were driving, Kat noticed that her father was a bit nervous. He confessed to dating some woman. His daughter reacted positively. She genuinely felt happy for her father. The mother disappeared, but they all have to move on. First Kat went to Theo, and then she met with friends she had missed a lot. Kat also went for a session with the psychologist. It seems like everything is going well in Kat's life, but she still hasn't received any news about her mother. It's been over two years, so Kat has already come to terms with the fact that her mother will never return. Kat decides to visit Phil, who works at an auto parts store. Phil can't attend college because he has to take care of his blind mother. Then Phil told Kat that she doesn't need to date someone like him anymore because she's now successful and promising. Kat was confused. In the evening, Kat had dinner with her father and his new girlfriend, May. When May went to the restroom, Brock who's very anxious, asked his daughter if she's okay with his new relationship. Of course Kat is fine with it. The mother left, and it was her conscious decision. Although Kat pretends to be indifferent to her mother's fate, she continues to have strange dreams. In each of them, her mother seems to start disappearing. That same night, Theo told Kat that there had actually been a thorough investigation into her mother's disappearance. Perhaps Brock is responsible for what happened to Eve. However, the police couldn't prove it. Kat considered these words were nonsense, as her father had always been mild-mannered and indulged his wife in everything. But Theo objected, telling Kat that she doesn't know much about her parents. Kat refused to believe it and left. She can't wrap her head around the idea that her father could be capable of such a thing. Kat recalls her mother's increasingly persistent flirtation with Phil. He clearly reciprocated. Late at night, Kat went to the Hillman's house, but Phil wasn't here. Kat needs to talk to her ex-boyfriend to clear things up. She wasn't against the idea of May staying overnight at their house, but to her surprise, the father didn't want that. Perhaps he's worried that his daughter would feel uncomfortable. That night, Kat once again drank with her friends. She's upset that Phil didn't call her back after everything that happened between them. But that's not all that's bothering Kat. To her surprise, the friends agreed with the detective's theory that Brock might be involved in his wife's disappearance. He's the only one with a motive. Kat doesn't know how to feel about this. The friends found it suspicious that the freezer in the Connor's house was locked. They wanted to check what's inside, but Brock came down and asked the daughter's friends to leave. Kat was outraged, but her father made it clear that his rules would be followed in his house. Kat is glad she's leaving tomorrow. After seeing the friends off, Kat crossed paths with Phil and asked him why he's been avoiding her. Phil pretended not to understand what she meant. Kat directly told her ex-boyfriend that he changed a lot after her mother's disappearance. On that day, he didn't pick her up from school, and Kat doesn't believe he was at his friend's place. Now all Kat wants is to know the truth. She doesn't care how terrible the truth might be, because she can't peacefully move on without it. Uncertainty is the scariest thing. Phil continues to deny having an affair with Eve. Before leaving, Phil hinted that Brock knows a lot more than he's telling. Now, Kat isn't sure if she's ready to know the truth. Going into her father's room, she saw him sleeping drunk. At night, Kat dreamt again of walking through the blizzard and hearing her mother's voice. She was calling for help. In the morning, Kat went down to the basement, and remembering the lock code, 
opened the freezer and tearfully started removing the foodstuffs on top. But the father interrupted her. Kat asked him if he knows where mom is. Kat doesn't want to hear anything other than the truth anymore. Brock said he has no idea where Eve is. At that moment, Kat has mixed feelings. She doesn't know what to believe now. Helplessness made her break down in tears. A few hours later, Kat said goodbye to her father at the airport. It was hard for both of them to pretend that everything was okay. That was the last time Kat saw her father. A couple of weeks later, Brock got drunk at a bar and confessed that he had taken his wife's life. Shortly after that, he voluntarily ended his life in prison. All this time, he had been keeping his terrible secret in the freezer. Kat had started to suspect something, so Brock moved Eve and buried her in the mountains. However, everything was not as Kat had thought. On that fateful day, Eve returned home earlier than planned and caught her husband with Phil. The guy ran away in a hurry. This made Eve laugh long and mockingly. Brock had endured his wife's humiliation for too long, so in a fit of emotions he took her life. At the funeral, Kat didn't even cry. She still thinks her mother disappeared without a trace, not that she passed away. Unconsciously Kat is still looking for her silhouette in the crowd. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel not to miss more exciting new products. Also the authors will be pleased if you leave your opinion in the comments.